Good morning, gardeners. Looky there. A new bloom for me. I've never seen this one before. I love things that are yellow and white. And the little speckles of color is nice. I can't take uh, a lot of credit for this one. <laughs> this is something that I purchased and uh, it now has came like this. This is from the Carmela Orchid Hall. So I've not seen the... Oh, okay. I was going to say, did I lose the tag already? So that's what it is. Other than beautiful. I love the yellow and white that, I don't know, it reminds me of popcorn. <laughs> Buttered popcorn, I don't know why. And let's see. Yes, this is still blooming and smelling nice. Sorry, you don't get to smell it. I have no smell of vision. It has this other one that just it's a little further away from it. But guess what? Young blood. Yep, there's a new one open. It's been open a few days. Look at the difference in the color between the ones that have just opened. I might have to turn the light on out here. And those have been around a while. I really like the, the color of the older ones. I guess you could say the fading ones, but I don't know, their color intensifies. I think it's very pretty versus that. I mean, they're both pretty, come on. They're orchids, <laughs> but uh, yeah. And the, sh uh, the growth spike here, look at that getting tall. And the second growth spike. Wait, do you see this one? And you see this one. It's right there. Because somebody broke it. Yes. I had a little outbreak of scale. And then trying to clean it up. That's why I didn't have a video for a bit because I've been working on that. It seems to be all cleared up though, I think. I'm going to do one last preventative thing. But, um, right here, let's see if this makes any difference. Um, anyway, in handling that plant, I broke off the little, the other bloom spike. It was about, maybe, well, okay, maybe that, eh, about that big, I guess. So, I don't know, I feel bad about that, but at least I have one. If it had been the only one, oh my gosh, it'd be heartbroken. I did move stuff around a little. I may have already moved it in the last video, but I don't think so. And this has a sheath coming in. This is my upside down orchid. It has a little sheath. You can see my finger. So maybe that'll be something. Uh, in some years that has bloomed really well. And I have started a white pot collection. Sadly, I'm not, being, I'm not finding many white pots that are made for orchids themselves. That's not an orchid, as you know. <laughs> I got that for Christmas. It's in a white pot, so I put it there. But white pots are um, moderate sun. Clay pots are lots of sun. Or light, however you want to say it. And then the blue pots are light sun. started using a lot of these pots. I bought them from someone locally who raises orchids and resells them. She sells them on eBay. She doesn't live that far from me, so I bought some from her because she has to buy so many at a time. Let's skip over to the other side. So, I turned this guy around the other day and found that the other side is very yellow, like it was when it was a neglected plant. So I'm not sure if I turn it around, if then this part will become yellow from sun, or if the other side is, I don't know. So I gotta think about that plant. I, I gotta look him up. He's a dendrobium, I believe. He is, I mean, I shouldn't say I believe. <laughs> he is a dendrobium. Uh, oh, and I got this. 
a new fertilizer, which I will use for the first time today. But I'm going to uh, fertilize a little more often my Vandas. I haven't been a big fertilizer, and I guess I need two more. I don't know. I always feel like it's gonna, I'm going to burn them up. I'm always afraid of that. So, as every, just like everyone else, I have a ton of fowls here that are in bloom or have spikes coming up. All my old ones, the spikes are coming up. This one's gotten pretty tall. Look, it's way up here. And this one's here. All the way to there. This one got moved to a little less sunny area, and so it slowed down. I need to get another one of these stands and put on that side so I can lift those up, and then I can get the bubble phylums off the floor. But I think my fowls down and my um, papio pad lambs are not getting quite enough sun or light down there. Oh, and this. I can't see. I can see cat see them. The little thing is bigger, but this one's yellowing. I kept wondering when it was going to drop a leaf. So, but it's growing, so I'm watering it. Oh, I can see the squirrels have messed with my stuff I hung outside. They're also playing havoc on my bird feeders this morning, jumping from one to the other, causing them to empty out into the ground. Um, he had a little, uh, just a leaf or two of scale, and uh, he's one of my favorite and longest <laughs> owned plants, so I took the hatchet and I may have overreacted because I removed leaves and pseudobulbs, not just the scale itself, so that won't kill him. He has lots of leaves and he has a lot of new little growth areas. Well... This one little leaf is still there. That one gives me hope for this. Okay, focus in. That's there. Now this isn't looking so good, but it's falling off. So I don't want to give up on that. I'm going to work on it today. Maybe. <laughs> we have company, well not company, we have family from out of state. So coming. So we want to spend time with them instead. So anyway, these are so the uh, black plastic pots, I put anybody in, but as you can see, my low lighters, hello everybody, are in some sort of turquoise aqua blue. So that's my new thing for next time we have to bring orchids in for cold weather or whatever. It'll be a little easier because my husband tries to help me with that. Look at that whole new something going on there. I wonder if that's gonna be, if that's a a bloom or just a new bromeliad. Not used to seeing that. Oh, and these guys. Now look at that. There's a bloom spike. There's three of them. There really is three of them. I can find them all. <laughs> I'm not gonna disturb it. But the little. Many fowls from the death rack are trying to do their thing. This is not yet completely dead, which some days I think it is. But if I get it wet, I can see. No, you're not going to be able to see this, I don't think. But right by my fingernail, there's one little root that I believe is alive. And I believe all three of these are, although the bottom one's looking, for lack of a better word, stained. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and the one that had the bloom spike under the leaf, it's actually lifting the leaf up. I was wondering how it was gonna happen what was gonna happen. But it's still growing. So what else is blooming? Of course this beauty. But in all fairness I bought that blooming. <laughs> and of course we have the this dendrobium that's had a bloom on it since I don't know, November. And this one that has never quit, and it has one more coming. And then down in here, there's some bloom spikes on right there. This is my Catlia and Catlia mixes, and that is, let's see if I can get it to come in. 
RLC uh, Winnea Leopard. It's Shamb, so I think it's Shamburkia maybe, and RCL. If it is, it seems like it would have one giant bloom spike and it has more of a Catlia looking, you know, short one. But I think that's kind of it for today. I don't get as much light as a lot of gardeners, so I don't have quite as much stuff going on probably as everybody else is in has a lot going on right now. Uh, mine's a little slower. I'm a little, always a little behind everybody, except in the dendrobiums. Uh, he's pretty, he's still pretty. So, you know, I will, mine are a little bit more closer to summer, I think. And this one's about out of there. Oh, and this experiment has worked so far. So far it looks okay. You really have to water it a lot though. Uh, this one I guess is okay too. I don't know. I worry about this one more. I don't know why. And this is one of the other one Todd gave me. Todd gave me this one from Todd's Tropicals. And then he gave me this one which somewhere along the line I think some of it disappeared. I thought it was longer but maybe it just seemed that way. just seems so delicate so come on put on roots buddy put on roots <laughs> all right I hope you have a great weekend I need to drink some coffee fill some bird feeders and get started with the day have a good one